Kayla with your everyday woman and today we have our collective haul for January of 2020. This was a big haul this month. Reason being, it's my birthday month. Um, I usually do a lot of extra makeup purchases during this time of the year. It's just something I've done. I've gotten gift cards and things like that and just extra points and stuff with all the birthday rewards and things like that. So it has been a rather large collective haul. Uh, there's the ball. So we're going to go ahead and just start with skincare and just move up to eyeshadows and just kind of do stuff. So skincare wise, um, I'm going to start with the uh, Sol de Janeiro Cocoa Cabana Cream as well as the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Um, these were a part of the January birthday gift that I got at the beginning of the month. Uh, this Cocoa Cabana Cream here, it's a 72 hour moisture oil infused body cream. Uh, so this here, I actually, I really, I like it. I had gotten sick right after Christmas at the beginning of the year. It lasted until then. I didn't. So when I picked this up, uh, right around my t the time of my birthday, I my skin was so dry because I was sick. Just dry patches everywhere, and I just nothing was really working. I put this on one night overnight. This stuff right here basically was a miracle cream. I absolutely love it. Um, I would not recommend it for um, wearing under makeup. I would recommend doing it night before your makeup and letting it sit because I usually have to wash my hands because it does have a sticky feel to it, which I don't really like. And I also don't like that it has, um, like, because it's so moisturizing, and I don't know, it could just be my skin, but it stings when upon initial application, I mean it goes away within a couple of minutes, but it does sting. I think it's because it's penetrating so deep into the skin that it's really locking in the moisture, but I swear my skin was completely renewed the next day. So um, I might end up repurchasing or purchasing the full size when I run out of this, um, but it's definitely, it's amazing. I seriously did not think a lotion could do what that did. And this also came in the package. This I'll wear under makeup. It's more just kind of like an instant refresher. Makes your skin look nice in the mornings. Uh, I do enjoy it. That's the fast absorbing body cream. Looks the same as the Coco Cabana cream, but this is more this is more like your night before. I'll also wear this on days where I'm not wearing makeup. And then this I'll put on in the morning. So that was really nice. Um, another skincare item. I actually got this in my boxy charm. This is the Advant Shea Butter 8 Hour Sleeping Mask. This, I guess, retails for $107. I would not pay that for this. I mean, it was good. It worked well. I mean, it felt nice on the skin. However, uh, if I'm going to pay a high price tag for a skincare item, I'm going to go with this. Uh, so, I mean, I liked it. I didn't hate it. I don't think that this bottle here is worth $107, though. One more skincare item I got, this was in my Ulta birthday rewards, as the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Cream. I did like it, I do like the scent of it. It's kind of like very subtle, but also kind of refreshing and relaxing at the same time. I, I did like it, I would consider purchasing this in the full size, um, but it is an oil and I don't really typically go for oils. However, just it feels good, especially like right before I go to bed if I put this on it and it's just kind of relaxing. Uh, so um, that's it for my skincare for the month. Um, let's go ahead and move into primers. I have two primers this month, and actually I got this in a set that Marty gave me for Christmas. But it's the Prime, it's Bare Minerals Prime Time Mineral. Um, it's a foundation primer. Um, you, I'm sure you've seen me use it in a couple of videos by now. But I absolutely love it. It does go on very oily, so you got to be careful because it comes out of the bottle really quickly. However. I absolutely love this stuff. It feels really nice upon application. I typically like to let it sit for a minute before I put on my foundation, but my foundation does not move all day. Uh, it does amazing things for the skin underneath, and so I, without a doubt, will most likely be repurchasing the full size of this. I love it. Um, my last primer is the, and this came in a set together along with the Tarte 
um, Tarte by the Sea. I've used this before, I really like it, but um, it all came in a little holiday package trio, but this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I've heard a lot of good things that it's good for dry skin, however, it's not as moisturizing as I would have expected it. I expected it to do more for the skin, and it didn't. Um, the texture, it doesn't, it felt, feels somewhat drying. I mean, it's not gonna like hurt your skin or anything like that. However, I don't feel like this is, at least in my opinion, as special as everyone says and how hyped up it actually is. So, I don't know, I'm probably gonna pass on the full size, but I will keep playing around with this and see maybe I'll like it more down the road. And then this here came in this whole set. I don't know, I think it was these three that came together and the tart came separately, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, this is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Spray. Uh, it works really well for a facial spray. It's very comparable to the MAC um, Fix Plus, especially when it comes to wanting to do up your shimmers and to spray down and wet your um, shimmer shades on your eyeshadow. I like it. I don't like it for a setting spray, so I don't think it's, you know, it says Miss and Fix. It's, um, so yeah, it definitely is more like a fixing and a refresher spray. Uh, it says you could set it too, however, I don't like it for a setting spray. I like it for my, like a base spray and a prepping spray and also a, um, it great for uh, shimmer shades on your eyeshadows. So I am really, you know, not my favorite, but really, and they both kind of run pretty similar on price points. I'll have to double check the exact price point. But between this and the MAC Fix Plus, I would probably say I like the MAC Fix Plus just a hair better because I feel like it's more versatile, but this would definitely do you really good. And if you guys do have both of these, let me know which one you like better. So from there, let's go ahead and move on to bronzers. I finally picked up the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I decided to finally try it. Uh, it does feel good on the skin. It works really nicely. Um, the packaging is definitely bulky. I mean, for me, I'm not overly worried about that kind of thing, but it is bulky and hard to store. And it comes with this brush here that I don't think a whole lot of people would know what to do with, but I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip really quick about how I applied it and how I made it work. All right, so what I do is I take the end of this brush and I kind of use it to chisel out my cheeks for more of a contour effect. So I'll just start by chiseling right underneath my cheekbone here and here, and then I'll go on my forehead, on my chin, then I'll take it on my nose, both sides of my nose and a little bit right there. And then I'll just take my fluffy brush and I'll add a little bit more product. I'll go ahead and just kind of diffuse that out just to create more of a chisel effect. So it works really, really good on days where I'm wanting to do like a no contour contour without using a bunch of contour products. And there you have it. All right, so. It goes on smooth, it goes on creamy, it stays like phenomenally throughout the day. I mean, I love the formula of this. The only thing I don't like about it is the formula is very orange, which I typically don't go for in a bronzer, but I did actually, like, when I first tried this out, I didn't really like it all that much, but as I used it more and more, I started really loving it. So this is one of those products I think if you're going to try it out, you got to give it some time before you just say, no, I don't like it. So I do really, I'm actually really enjoying this bronzer. Another thing, this I got my boxy charm. It's my Wonder Beauty trip for two. It's my bronzer and blush duo. Uh, I did already swatch these in my boxy charm video, so I'm not going to swatch them today. Uh, this here, it's a very light, but it does work really well. It stays on. You got to build it up a little bit, and I would even recommend if your skin tone is a little bit deeper than mine, maybe layering the bronzers. Um, but it is a nice bronzer. It does stay. Um, but the blush, however, the blush is beautiful. It's not too pink, it's not too orange. I mean, it's not muted, but it's not overwhelmingly full of color that you just look like flushed out. Um, this would be really cute in the summertime if you're trying to mimic like sun on your face. But this shade here, it's, it's beautiful and it stays miraculously. I love it. Uh, moving on to, let's go with foundation. I did pick up the Urban Decay 
uh, Stay Naked Foundation Powder. I have mine in the shade 30 and N. It's also this. What, baby? Okay, girly. It's also the same shade I have in Stay Naked Foundation. It is a little bit lighter. However, it does work. And if you... I did do a full dedicated review to this video, so if you missed that, I will link that down below. Um, so, but just giving some more thoughts on it. Uh, I do have dry skin. I have normally dry skin. I, if you are having a dry skin day, I would not recommend using this. I do like how quick and easy it is to apply, especially if I'm like wanting to get out the door, I'll just brush this on my face. I did try it over the Stay Naked Foundation, tried using it as more setting powder base, but I think it just kind of... It emphasized yeah. texture on my skin, and I really did not like that. So um, I would recommend using this as a foundation and not a all-over setting powder. Uh, if you have more oily skin, you could probably get away with it. But if you do have more dry skin, I would highly make sure you prep well before using this. Another thing, and this could be a pro and it could be a con. I found that I did not need concealer for this. I found like. That while I was using it, especially as I'm trying to get it out the door, I don't have to do this type of concealer because I feel like it does what it wants me to do and I've got pretty dark under eyes, so I definitely like to conceal there and all I do is I take my beauty blender and I just ta add a little bit more coverage there and I am good to go. However, again, at least for me because I have dry skin, I was not able to wear concealer because it did em emphasize like dryness and texture and it creased up on me pretty badly whenever I wore this over concealer and because this is a powder make sure whatever you're using on top of it is a powder and all your cream products are underneath so I did use the concealer both ways however I didn't I would prefer not to so it's kind of a pro you know you can get by without concealer but the con is using concealer is really not going to work for this product let's go on to highlighters my Too Faced Diamond Highlighter. This I got in my box of charm. I'm going to try and swatch it again. I don't know how well it'll work. But So this one I got in the box of charm. This is in the shade Fancy Peak Diamond. I do. I did already have the shade Canary Diamond. And this is one of my favorite highlighters. So of course I had high expectations for this one. However, this for me did not perform like I wanted it to. For the longest time I thought that it... Oh, baby. For the longest time, I, I'm like, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't highlight. It doesn't do anything. And as time went on, I kind of tested it further. You know, I tried scratching the surface. I tried getting off the first layer because sometimes that's what you need to do. However, I just, it just didn't perform right. And I did find that you were able to get a very, very, very subtle highlight. So I guess if you are looking for something really subtle and you're just wanting to test out the highlighting deal and you want something more sheer, this could work. However, I would still recommend doing something different. So I was majorly disappointed with this highlighter right here. <clears throat> but this highlighter, the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter, I got I got with this because they were doing like a buy one get one free sale. And this here is beautiful. It's definitely your pinky highlighter. Let's see. I Hopefully, I think that'll pick up on camera. I'll swatch it pretty good for you, but let's see. There you go. But this is beautiful. It stays beautifully. It's can be a little bit more of your blinding highlight, which I typically will go for a little bit more of a blinding highlight. Um, but I love this stuff. I think it's, it feels smooth on the skin. It feels buttery. It feels amazing. And I just, they call it the butter highlighter for a reason. So I um, would highly recommend that you go pick this up, especially if you can find like a CVS sale or something on it. So yeah one more highlighter i have for you guys i picked up the natasha denona diamond and glow um so this is more of your uh your glowy blush let me see if the swatches will come up and then this is more of your blinding highlight let's see so let me see if that hopefully is picking up for you guys. I don't know if I swatched it enough or not, but Mommy. this year when I was... Mommy. Oh, okay. So when I was in Sephora and I was picking this up, I was surprised to find that for only $19. Like, I thought something like this would be like $40 to $50 because of it's Natasha Denona. Mommy. So when I was picking it up in Sephora, like, all the ladies in there were like, that is amazing. You're absolutely yeah. going to love it. It's so beautiful. This... 
you know, I thought this was more of your blinding highlighting. This has nothing compared to this. So this here is so gorgeous. Hi. It's so blinding. Oh. Um, very beautiful. Uh, if you Hi. don't like, if you don't like very glittery and blinding highlights, you will probably absolutely hate this with everything you have. But if you do like it more glittery, you can use this as a shadow. It will work really well. This blush here, I actually like to layer over blushes, so I've layered it over like the blush in this. I've layered it over in my Milani blushes. I've layered it over, you know. So sometimes if I just want this, and not the glitter, then I'll go ahead and just layer with it with the blush if I'm feeling more glowy blush. But it's, sometimes I'll put I'll layer this on a blush, I'll, and then I'll put this on top of it, and it is super gorgeous. And I'll even put this like on my nose and I'll use this as a even a subtle highlighter and it just adds a soft most subtle color also if you're not wanting yeah. blush but you still want some kind of color on your cheeks other than bronzer this would be great because it can be very subtle while being very highlighting so this here it is only $19 so price point wise it being Natasha Denona I would definitely recommend this this was definitely one of my good Sephora high-end finds super pretty um, so yeah, this may end up being one of my favorite highlighters. So moving on, I've got one more mascara, um, or I've got a mascara. I got this in my boxy charm. This is the Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered Mascara. Um, overall, I do like this. It is very lengthening. Uh, the one I thought it was going to be more volumizing, but it was actually more lengthening. Uh, it doesn't. I mean, it smudges just like any other mascara. So it's it's super. It works. It does. You know, I was impressed by it. Uh, I, you know, unfortunately, it's not smudge proof, proof, but it doesn't smudge any more than any other of the mascaras that I own in my collection. So I was actually pleased with that. Putting it under a mascara primer will be, you know, you be fine with, and I have done that, and it does work. So, um, would I recommend this? Yeah. Would I recommend this over some of my other mascaras? Maybe. Maybe not. Um, so it, I think it only does. It does only retail for sixteen dollars. So I was trying to think back to what my boxy charm said. So I mean, yeah, for a good high-end mascara that's affordable, this one would probably do the trick. Probably, but you could also get by with a good drugstore mascara. Typically, all the mascaras I own are honestly minis and stuff I've just gotten with, um, like gifts and stuff like that. I haven't really purchased. I don't really purchase high-end mascaras, but so the reason why I have so much is for that reason alone. So hi, let's start with this NYX, NYX Vivid Brights. I have mine in the shade Sugar Rush. Um, I am actually wearing this on my eyes today. Let's see if that pick up. Girly, stop. Uh, I am wearing this on my eyes today. I wore it as an eyeliner alone, and then today I'm actually wearing it as a base for my other eyeshadow. Um, but it works really well. It stays beautifully. I mean, it's completely waterproof. It took um, Vaseline for me to actually get the eyeliner off. Uh, the only downside for me is that upon it's tricky to apply um, upon application it does feel very drying not drying but it's like very hard to apply but I mean I like the base I got with it I think it was beautiful I think you can use it as an eyeliner a base I'm also wearing it on my under eyes as well and I just I think it's beautiful I think it's pretty I would recommend this I'm probably gonna go back and get more colors another thing I got from NYX is this Eyeliner pencil is yeah, it's an eye and it says eye and eyebrow, but it's a purple eyeliner So let's go ahead and swatch that for you right there um, But it, this works really well. It's a really pretty color of purple I'm I'm glad to have a purple eyeliner in my collection. I've been needing one for a while now, so I think it works really well um, Definitely affordable, so that's nice I've got two Products left to show you. I've got the Pixie Silky Eye Pencil. Mommy, this is in the shade. Um, let's see what's the shade name. This is in the shade Silver Reflex. Yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and yeah, swatch mommy. that right there. I mean, it is really pretty. It stays really well. This is actually very comparable to the Urban Decay yeah, All Nighters. Mommy. I feel like the formulas are very similar. Or not All Nighter. Um, the Urban Decay 24/7 Eye Pencil. Um, it does, this shade here particularly has a very blue undertone. Um, it doesn't look like this upon application, but under the eyes it definitely, yeah. it looked really pretty with the blue yeah. eyeshadow. And then I also got this Pixie, um, yeah. 
It's, no. I don't know what this is called, but it's the just their eye glitters. This is in the shade Pixie Green. I thought I was going to have to do a lot more layering with this when I used it, but upon application on along the eyes, it worked. It worked really well. It's super pretty. I'm thinking about doing a St. Patrick's Day with this look, so if you guys would like to see that, let me know, but it looks beautiful. Um, with that, I am, that's everything I have to show you for this haul. It's definitely a big haul, um, but I do have four eyeshadow palettes. I've got that will be coming up. I will be doing separate reviews on these, but I've got the, this is the mini Lila palette, and this is the, the Natasha Denona mini Lila palette, the Natasha Denona mini gold palette, and the last two I got in my BoxyCharm. This is my Ace Butte Vintage Dawn palette, and then my a uh, pretty vulgar nightingale palette um so stay tuned because we've got a lot of eyeshadow palette reviews and tutorials coming up this month and if you'd like to see separate looks on any of these aside from my re reviews please let me know uh with that thank you for watching this video hope you enjoyed it uh I, if you are new here come <laughs> if you are new here welcome to my channel i do videos on focusing on beauty fashion lifestyle and motherhood and I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell below and like my video. And I will see you in the next video. God bless and bye guys.